tonight's Mal's Melbourne, we look at those grand old theatre organs as they rise from their pits once again and back into the spotlight. By the 1930s, these grand old theatre organs, which were designed to support the silent movies, had become the centre of attention in their own right. However, when sound came to the movies, not even this blindfolded gimmickry could resurrect them from their pits. That is, until now. Today, these grand old instruments are rising to the occasion once again. The old Wurlitzers from Melbourne's Capital and State Theatres and this Compton from Sydney's Lyceum painstakingly restored by a small group of dedicated volunteers. Well, the theatre organ in some areas, I suppose, has been thought of as more a curio. The theatre organ's not a curio, it's a legitimate musical instrument in its own right. It's here in the small rented factory in suburban Kensington that restoration is carried out. The console is the showpiece, the driving force behind 1,000 pipes, 100 flutes and tibias, a xylophone, a vibraphone, a glockenspiel and a percussion unit. Five to six tonnes of hidden equipment now being assembled using 1988 technology and parts. I think you're hearing sounds now out of the organs which probably hadn't been heard before and there are new techniques being used in playing them. Today these grand old instruments are not just performing to cinema goers. The Theatre Organ Society promote concerts for all who appreciate the organ, including overseas musicians. We've been told that these organs in Melbourne are probably in the best uh, condition of any in the world. But if we just maintain our enthusiasm and don't pass it on to others, then they're going to die again. Well, so often we hear the hackneyed cliché, the end of an era. How refreshing to see the rebirth of a new one. The Wurlitzer from the capital is now installed at the Brighton Twin, the Compton is out at Reservoir, while the State Theatre Organ is at the Moravan Town Hall. <laughs> 